Welcome to part 9 of Let's Play Resident Evil. Let's continue the game. In the last part I found the red jewel, so the first thing I'm going to do is put the red jewel in the tiger statue and see what it gives us. I also need to find that uh, that desk key. Um, I've been doing some thinking about that. I'm going to explore or have a search in, in the rooms next to uh, where the desk is. Um, have another search of them and see if it's in there. I might have missed it. If it isn't in there, I don't know where it is. You have once again entered the world of survival horror. Good luck. Okay, let's put away the uh, ink ribbon. And the magnum rounds, I for some reason have those out. Okay, then let's go and uh, get that... Um, get whatever's in the tiger statue. Quick, quick, quick. Don't get stuck on the pillar thing. I think on Director's Cut there were dogs in there or something. There were zombies in there, but in Director's Cut I think there's um, zom um, dogs, zombie dogs. Anyway, I'm not going to kill these hunters because if I try to kill that hunter guarding this door, the other one will probably turn up and then I'll have to kill both, so I'll just leave it. Okay, let's use this. Let's have a check first. Red Jewel. It's shining beautifully. Lovely. Okay, let's use it and see what it gives us. Yes, it's the Colt Python, or the magnum of this, or the magnum of this game. Will you take the Colt Python? Yes. Okay. Now I don't know what makes a bullet a magnum bullet. If anyone, if anyone from America can tell me, uh, I've no idea about guns because handguns are banned here. But um, if, anyone, if anyone from America can tell me, I'd be really interested. What makes a magnum bullet a magnum bullet? Colt Python. Uh, magnum rounds loaded. Yeah, what makes a, a round a magnum round? Is it just more gunpowder or something? I've no idea. Okay, right, I'm going to run past this one again. I don't really want to waste any any bullets on him or whatever. Ha ha ha. Yes, I'll get away with that. Good. All right, we never have to go in there again. Yeah, I'm um, half tempted to use the magnum on, on him, but he'd probably, uh, um, but he'd probably jump over it or something. Right, anyway, I'm going to explore that place with the desk again and the two adjacent rooms to see if that key is in there. Um, Wow, he is really ugly. Look at him. Look at that. I mean... Hang on a minute, was something just sparkling there? Wait a minute. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Oh, here's the key. Oh, can't believe I missed that before. I mean, I searched everywhere in here. The microwave oven, the fridge. I didn't even notice that. Thank goodness I wanted to talk about that horribly ugly zombie. I mean, I even searched this. A freezer. I mean... How could I... I can't believe I missed that. Oh, well. Well, that's really lucky, because that means I don't have to search that those two rooms again, or those three rooms downstairs. Seriously, though, that zombie is really ugly. I mean, I, I don't understand why he's a skinhead. I mean, where's his hair? Uh, did he... Before he died, does... Uh, um, does uh, turning into a zombie make his hair fall out? I don't understand. Right, let's go and... Uh, Use it. Yeah, I was going to search in this room and the two adjacent rooms uh, for that uh, for the for the desk key, but I don't have to now. That's really lucky. Desk is locked. Will you use the desk key? Yes. What do we have? We have magnum rounds. Lovely. Yeah. I thought they might be. All right. Now, with that all done, we can now leave the mansion. So goodbye, Mr. Zombie. Did I get that herb? Yes, I did. It's yes, a goodbye, Mr. Zombie. You will uh, always be down here. Well, until the end of the game, anyway. Okay, where is he?
Maybe it's right. I mean, their armors must get tired holding them out like that all the time. You know, if I do that, I can only do it for like five minutes or something because my arms get tired. But they don't get tired because they're zombies, which means how do they how do they metabolize energy? How can they move around if they don't have any you know, if they don't have any proper nervous system, if their arms are rotting, how can it move? I don't I don't get it. Right, anyway, we're going to go to, uh, we're going to go to the other side of the mansion, so we have to pass through here. I might get hurt a couple of times. Nope, you missed me. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, good, yes. Good, didn't get hurt. Yeah, there was another zombie in there. Although he's, he, um, the place he spawns when you open the door is, um, and he spawns near Kenneth, so I'm really lucky, I'm really pleased I found that, uh, that desk key there, because I was, I was envisioning having to search around for 15 minutes and then having to look in a, in a guide or something, because, yeah, I'm really pleased about that. Um, which way do we want to go? Let's take the, uh, the shotgun corridor way, because it's more sort of tortuous, so maybe the hunters in there will be easier to avoid instead of the the, sh uh, the armor key corridor upstairs um, so let's go this way please not oh, there's oh yeah there's spiders in here now that's right yeah, yeah. I forgot to mention there's spiders in here now but they don't really matter no point killing them right, it's the shotgun corridor let's go I think there's a hunter around the corner, quick, yes, oh no, he got me, oh there's only one hunter, quick, good, that's the end of him, good, we never have to go in there again, alright, let's go in here, we killed the hunter here, didn't we, there's Wesker's note, fortunately he hasn't left more ammo for us, All right, let's put the magnum rounds away. Now I have 24 of them. Beautiful man. Okay, things we will need. We will need uh, the crank. Let's get the crank out. Yep. No, not that. That's wrong one. We need the crank. What else will we need? We'll need the battery, of course. Let's nab that. Uh, what else will we need? Um, fiddly -dee. Let's take some health with us just in case. I'm at yellow fine, so I'm going to use some health first. So there's a grey one. Let's use this blue and green because I don't really need the blue to be honest. Let's take some more health with us just in case. Another grey herb. Yeah, let's take the let's take both of the grey ones. Um, that should be everything. Yeah, the battery and the crank is what I need. Yeah. For some reason, I was confusing myself, thinking I needed the the crests again. I thought oh, I've already done that. Right, unfortunately, there is another hunter inside the uh, inside the corridor with uh, the where we place the crests. I think. So we'll have to try and run past him because there's no point killing him because we're never coming back here. Right, where is he? There he is. Yes, you missed your git. Haha. <laughs> Let's leave. Goodbye forever. Right, I picked up the key from the uh, an old barrel. Right. Okay, we killed the dogs here. Alright, we need to go uh, to that courtyard place where the um, on the way to the guardhouse where those dogs I didn't kill are, and then whoops, and then uh, I need to put the battery in a lift there. And the reason for that is because it gives us access to, to the top area, so we can turn the crank off. I mean, we can turn the crank and still get down. Because putting the turning the crank originally, it made a sort of waterfall which has blocked off the way into the underground tunnels. Um, so it's just down here. Quickly put the thing in. 
Okay, yeah. It's difficult to line yourself up for this. One time I tried five times to position myself. The easiest way is just to read the battery is pulled out, then pause it, and then use the battery, and then you know you're in the right place. Oh, God damn you. Get out. I hate that bit. Three dogs roaming around there. And it's not over yet, because now we have to go all the way back. I suppose we can stop off at the item box. And in the guardhouse, I suppose, on the way. Is it something we can do? Oh, I've got caution. Um, I'll let a dog bite you one more time, and then I'll... Uh, and then I'll use some health, I think. Use one of my grey herbs. Anyway, we need to use the crank here to stop the waterfall thing, and that will give us access to the... Downstairs, because I mean the downstairs tunnel thing, underground tunnel thing. Because for some reason Chris can't walk through water. If it's water, it's poisonous, and you can't walk there. Okay, let's go. So now we need to use the lift uh, to get back down to the courtyard area, and then but the water won't be falling, that's why we need the battery to make that lift work. Actually, can I be bothered to go back? No, I, um, I don't think I can be bothered, let's just go. Um, I mean, go to the, uh, the, uh, the save room and the guardhouse, go all the way there just to use a, an item box, let's just go. I pretty much have everything I need. Right, and leg it. It's just over here. Yeah, it's, it's opposite the uh, where the lift is. Okay, there's a ladder. Will you descend it? Yeah. So if you hadn't stopped the water from coming down from that lake bit, that pond bit, there'd be water here, and Chris wouldn't be able to walk through for some reason. That's with the water gone now. He can. I don't understand what difference water makes. Maybe he can't see it. Okay, this place. Right, I hate this place. I absolutely hate it. There's loads of hunters here. Is there an ink ribbon? No. Old typewriter, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Okay, what's around the corner? Can we use this crank? What hole is it? There's a hexagonal hole. Yeah, we need the hex crank for this. That leads to a sort of boss, a giant spider. And then beyond the giant spider is uh, is a, an item box. It's a long time before we get another item box, really, so we better be careful. Although we can go up, uh, go up the ladder and get and go to the guardhouse or back to the mansion if you want, but it is a pain. Okay, the hunters won't show up until we meet a man named Enrico or something. There's a flamethrower here, um, which I will take now. Although when you take it, it sort of locks the door. So we have to put it back once we've used it. Yes, this door is now locked. But um, it's handy anyway. Uh, we'll kill some hunters with it. Uh, hunters are really really easy to kill with it. Um, both directions lead to both places, so it doesn't really matter which way you go. Let's just go this, um, go this way first. I think Enrico also has an ammo clip on him, which is annoying because... Um, because it means we'll have to use another item slot. Might have to use some health up. Yeah, there's some more shotgun shells here. So we'll take them gladly. And there's a first aid spray which I have to take. Because I want all the items. Okay, yes, yeah, so, so... This door will lead back to where we were. Uh, I'm going to have to go... I'm going to have to use some health even though I don't need it because I'll just have to go back here. The trouble is I only have six item slots and I, the hex crank is in there and there's an, there's an ammo clip and I don't really want to... I'll have to use both of the health items just to get rid of them really. I'll use them on the way. I'll have no choice if I want those items. I have loads of health items, it doesn't matter, so I'll use the first aid spray. I'll probably get hurt anyway to be honest. Let's have a check of this. It can throw flame for nine seconds with max fuel. Yeah, it goes down surprisingly quickly. I mean, I think 100 takes about 100 uh, 
100 um, 100 rounds or whatever we want, or whatever you want to call it of it it's trouble with any uh, six item slots so if they keep going back and forth okay here's a cutscene Enrico don't come any closer Chris wait what happened double crosser don't Umbrella. Who is it? I is someone there? Double crosser. What did he mean by that? Okay. Um, we'll have to use those health items now. It's a bit of a pain. I don't really want to use them. That's a trouble. Because I do need at least one for that for, uh, for the boss. Um, fiddle dee, what should I do? Um, okay, I will use the mixed herbs now. No, I'm not allowed to use it, so I will go and um, kill some hunters with this flamethrower. Okay, now I need it. I've left 19 that's not nearly enough um, okay let's use the mixed herbs that gets rid of that um, let's pick up the let's leave the crank there okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the flame fur back then I'm gonna come back for the two items that's what I'll do but I'll have to run past some hunt I'll have to run past some hunters Also, some hunters here now, annoyingly. So I need to, yeah, put the flamethrower down. Right, let's go back. Uh, yes, yeah, very good. I have to do that though to unlock the door. You have to put the flamethrower back, assuming you want the flamethrower. Quickly go back in here and get the stuff I missed. I've killed the two hunters in here, so I can get the clip and the hexagonal crank. Here's the crank. Yeah, it only appears there after you talk to Enrico, so whoever um, killed Enrico um, dropped it. And then Enrico has a clip, an ammo clip. He couldn't have moved because of this injury. He's holding something. And there's the clip. It's only 15 bullets. I don't know why they give it to you, to be honest. It's not really that useful. I mean, if you're at the stage, this stage in the game, and you really need that clip, I think you're doing very, very badly, and you probably won't complete the game easily. Oh no! Okay, let's just go this way now. I'm going the other way. Accidentally came this way. Accidentally came this way. Quick, good, right. <clears throat> Quickly make it back to the door. Right, let's go. All right, now we can use the hexagonal crank on that thing. Yeah, yellow fine. That's not too bad. Um, that's not too bad. <clears throat> okay, let's use the hexagonal crank on this thing. I think there's another flame fur to pick up as well, which is handy. Let's just check this. Its end is hex shaped, yeah, it's now known as the hex crank. So we can use it. Probably shouldn't have brought the square crank down here. Probably should have gone back to the uh, guardhouse to drop that off because it probably would have made this bit a bit easier because I had to go in there twice with those damn hunters. That's what makes it harder with the six item slots, I'm afraid. I mean, having eight item slots with Jill makes it easier. <clears throat> Okay, so that's that done. Right, let's go in here. 
Yeah, so this leads to an area, and beyond this area is the boss. Okay, so let's get... No, I don't have any item slots remaining. I can't really get the flamethrower, even if I wanted it. Okay, let's have a look over here first. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. Okay, so... There's a boulder over there. And then when you go back, this happens. Quickly go in here, and that happens. Okay, a hunter's come now. So let, uh, let's kill him. Oh. You git, come here. Health. I'll have to use this. Oh, at least that means I can uh, pick up something now. Hate these things. Go away. Right, what's in here? Okay, I'll get them later because I don't need them now. So, and uh, I need the flamethrower, really. I'll, um, I'll pick them up later. Damn hunters, right. Okay, let's equip the flamethrower. Now... And this room ahead of me is is the uh, is the boss. It's easier with the flamethrower. Quick! out of it yet. Yeah. Let's use the shotgun now. Quick. I'm nearly dead, aren't I? I'm, I'm, and I'm poisoned. Brilliant. Is that it? Blimey, that was close. Okay, there's a knife here, which we can't pick up because of um, the item situation. So, I think the small spiders, they only get your health down, they can't actually kill us. So, we just have to... We need to... Um, we need to get rid of this. Okay, we need to go and put the uh, the flame fur back, unfortunately, because there's a knife in the corner. Oh, that was a bit weird, bit of a glitch there. I don't think the poison would kill us; it just gets our health down. So we need to put the. Uh... Damn, we're near death. Yeah, we need to put the flame fur down, and then I can pick up that knife, and then I can go and heal myself. Yeah, those small spiders it drops, they only uh, bring your health down. I don't think they can kill us. So I need to pick up the other knife in the corner and get rid of those tangled cobwebs. Here it is. Yeah, there's another knife here. Apparently uh, we can destroy the cobwebs. No, they've come back. We can destroy the cob uh, allow the spider itself to destroy the cobwebs, but it's sort of tricky to pull off. Anyway, just do this. And as you get rid of them all at once, they return when you come back in. At least the small spiders have gone. But I'm at the lowest possible health. I imagine one more hit will kill me. Okay, I think the item room is here, maybe. I think. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, here's the safe room. Good. At last. All right, let's heal ourselves immediately. Let's use that, that brown full heal that we have. Let's put this combat knife away, we don't need that. Um, let's get a clip out. Sort that out now, might as well. 
I think I might need the uh, the, f uh, the flame fur again to put it on another thing. Okay, we need that brown mixed herb that we made. Yeah, here it is. Good. Let's use it now. There we are. That got rid of the poison as well. That was handy. Right. Another herb here. It's a blue one. Yeah, they're giving us a blue one as well. Although we shouldn't need another blue one. There's also some stuff here. There's another first aid spray. That's handy. Can't remember if the first aid sprays cure poison or not. I honestly can't remember. Um, and there's another ink ribbon here. Yes, that battle with the spider was really close. The flame fur is apparently best for it, but I didn't have enough flame fur to get rid of the uh, cobweb, so I had to go back and put the flame fur down. Um, I'll just put this ink ribbon away and then I'll... Uh and then I'll go back and see what's going on with that flame fur situation. I might have to go back for it. Ah, oh, there's some snakes in here now. They don't really matter. Looks like a hook. Yeah, it's, this will be locked. Yeah, we need to go and get the flame fur and put it in. And put it in there. Yeah, we need to go back for the flame fur. Yes, yeah, so now we have two combat knives. I suppose you can avoid picking that up if you use the flame fur to get rid of the webs, or just bring your knife with you. Yeah, you know, yeah, the original knife with you. I suppose you can do that, but but I had to go and put this back because I needed the item slot to pick up the combat knife. That's another annoying thing about having the uh, <clears throat> about having only six item slots. But yeah, I do hate this underground section because. You only get the save room after you know, after defeating the boss. You have to do all that with the hunters and everything, and and and, and then you're given the save room. Now I'll just put the flamethrower down, then I'll go and save it, and that'll probably be the end of the video because we're coming up to uh, because we're coming up to half an hour. Okay, that's unlocked the door. Okay, we're nearly done with this underground section. I should be done with it in the next video. Yeah, that was close to that giant spider, goodness gracious me, that, I was nervous then. I was thinking I might have to redo the video, because that thing nearly killed me. It's easier with Jill, because you can take more health with you. Um, what am I doing? Yeah, okay. Um, right, let's see what situation we're in. Two combat knives, one first aid spray. Let's put the first aid sprays together. I um, can't remember if we need another crank or not. Uh, we have two full heals there. There's the Beretta with 96 spare bullets, two blue herbs, another blue herb, the lighter, another two blue herbs, another first aid spray, eagle medal, and the MO disc, Colt Python and Magnum Man. So we have a fair amount of health here. a fair amount of health, loads and loads of uh, first aid sprays. I've already used one as well because I had to to get rid of the item slot. Um, the item slot situation. Yeah, it's quite nerve-wracking that battle with that giant spider. Um, we have two combat knives now. Anyway, that's enough of that. We're at full health. Uh, uh, we're at full health again. And there's another typewriter here. Um, pretty. I still think it's annoying how they give you a typewriter at the start of this area, but there's no ink ribbon with it, so you would have had to take an ink ribbon with you, but then, then you'd have to have an ink ribbon on you until you got to here, which is an extra item slot. So it'd be really... Uh, that typewriter is more or less useless. Yes, we will, thank you. Definitely saving after this. Okay, so we sorted the mansion out, and we nearly sorted this out. Just this place to do, and then we can go to the lab area, which is the final area of the game. But I really do hate this under it's, it's my least favourite part of this game, because of all the hunters and everything. Anyway, yeah, so... 
thank you for watching. In the next part, I'll be finishing off the underground section and uh, getting to the labs and uh, making a start to that. So thanks again and goodbye.